creating a place that will be valuable or memorable for the long term really changes the way you have to think about what you're creating as a designer because the day you finish design and finish the construction of a building is just day one for the client's occupation. So it might be the way you set it up perfectly and pristinely on day one is exactly what you've worked towards, but for the client, that's just the beginning of that, that building's useful contribution to their business. So thinking about that back into the design process means you have to think about the time dimension. You have to think about, well, what are the multiple various ways the client might want to use this place over its long-term life? Um, you're effectively needing to design something that can work in multiple other configurations that are different to that day one configuration. So you're almost designing five or six or seven or ten or a hundred permutations when into your first in, into that day one solution and that's quite that's quite challenging but it's also quite liberating when you think that the project therefore takes on a life of its own it becomes something that can turn into something new and different that you've created the platform for um, it can evolve over time and continue to add more value than a static solution ever could. One example of, of creating a place that's taken on a life of its own into the future would be the university learning hub or the student hub at Adelaide University um, where the components that the architecture and the fit out provided are really just component parts that are at the students disposal throughout the, throughout the academic year and beyond. So we're just really providing pieces and a and an environment and those pieces can rearrange in any any number of potential ways to facilitate whatever the students want to do in that space. Um, it's a much more you know fluid and um, faster more adapted environment than any traditional fixed environment could be so it can serve the needs as they emerge. Um, Another example of a place that's designed specifically to change over time would be the co-working environments that we're designing for Hub Australia, Hub Melbourne, Hub Sydney and Hub Adelaide, which again are, are arrangements of component pieces that the member communities of the, of the hubs can rearrange to suit whatever they need those places to facilitate. Those places take on um, a life of their own at the hands of, of the members who are using that place to create value for their, for their businesses. That ability to design places that can adapt to change and continue to add value to the client's business into the future beyond your current brief and even to respond to issues that you couldn't even have anticipated at the design phase is critical for all types of design or all types of projects. Um, the same would go for an airport, for example, like the Sydney Domestic Terminal, where changes in the aviation industry have meant that terminal has had to adapt to you know, really quite radical changes in technology and the retail demand in, in, an, in an airport environment. And the, and the building has been able to absorb and respond to those changes and provide a changing environment that's continued to create value for the airport over a long period of time. There's another current example. We're currently working with a, with a banking organisation um, who, like many organisations, have large amounts of project-based staff who are involved in quite short to medium term ad hoc projects um, in the organisation and need spaces for short periods of time and in, a, in a more ad hoc way. So we're taking um, quite traditional office environments and uh, taking them as vacant, almost shell, office building shells. And the fit out that we're providing for them are, are so flexible and dynamic to facilitate project environments that nothing is fixed at all. So the building remains just as a shell and all the walls, furniture and even the kitchens are on wheels and detachable and reconfigurable and can be wheeled around and changed um, on a day-to-day on -day basis 
as the project teams grow and shrink and, and rearrange themselves. And that's really the level of adaptability and flexibility that many organisations are uh, seeking now in order to move at the speed of business.